Hey folks, my name is Dan and welcome to my Skillshare on how to become a data analyst within a week. So I wanted to start out by talking about who is this course for. This course is really for people who are trying to get that first job as a data analyst, whether you just graduated from college and you don't have enough experience and you really want to learn the tools, or whether you're switching careers and you want to get comfortable with some of the tools of data analysis. Um, if that's you, you are definitely in the right place. Now, throughout this course, we're gonna learn really three primary tools that are critical in the toolkit of a data analyst. The first one is getting really proficient with Excel. So you can actually get a data set, clean it up, and then be able to uh, either do an analysis of it or then transfer it somewhere else. Uh, the second step is learning SQL. So if you're able to clean data within Excel, what do you do with that afterwards? How do you store it within a SQL database? And on top of that, how do you also conduct queries? How do you ask questions on large data sets? Uh, most companies these days don't deal with, you know, 100,000 rows. They deal with millions and millions of rows of data. Um, and really the most efficient way to, to ask questions and ask queries, conduct queries on these large data sets um, is to use SQL. So we'll go ahead and talk about SQL, learn how to use it and get really familiar with it. And then the last part is after you sort of asked a question in SQL, how do you present that data to a decision maker? Um, so we'll learn how to use data visualization tools and namely we'll use Tableau, which is uh, one of the most widely used data visualization tools. So we'll learn from the data that we got from Excel and SQL, how do we visualize that in a way that makes sense to another person? Um, we'll learn how to make those complex visualizations and dashboards as well. And then lastly, before we get kicked off, I wanted to talk about who am I? What are my qualifications for teaching this course? I studied molecular and cellular biology in undergrad at Johns Hopkins University. After graduation, I worked for a subsidiary of Roche, which is the world's second largest pharmaceutical company, specifically working on healthcare consulting uh, for private practices. Um, and throughout my time there, I really started at the very bottom. I didn't know much as an analyst and worked my way all the way up to, uh, to a manager. On top of that, I just completed my master's in public health also at Johns Hopkins University. Uh, I took many advanced statistical classes, including statistical machine learning. Uh, and I am now also a medical student. So uh, long story short, you're in good hands. Um, I know what it feels to be sort of at the bottom and not know very much about data analysis. And what I want to do in this course is really take some of the nuggets that I learned over the course of several years and condense those down within really the course of a week um, so that after you complete this course, you have a pretty good sense of what data analysis is about. And not only that, to be able to do your own data analyses. So a big component of this course is going to be actually doing things. Uh, we're going to be doing assignments. We're going to be doing projects. So we not only learn the theory behind things, which is important, but more importantly, being able to do things. Um, so that's going to be a big component. Um, and inherent in the nature of this course, because it's a one week class, um, it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. Um, there's a lot of information to get through within a week, but I promise on my end to make things as relevant as possible, use as many examples as possible. And again, a big component of this course is going to be doing things, uh, but no worries. I'm going to be there every step of the way.